Hey, what's up, guys? And I was doing some research on other ways to access Homebrew, or in particular, if Ocarina of Time was updated already, and other things to pretty much Homebrew. But I found Base Hacks, which is an exploit, just like Pokemon or Super Mystery Dungeon. When you install the exploit, you could pretty much launch um, homebrew without any other thing besides that game that you install the exploit so we're gonna be doing it with Pokemon Omega Ruby or Pokemon Alpha Sapphire so whichever game you want but in, or in order to do this you're gonna need a copy of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire whichever one version 1.0 or 1.4 with the ability to have a secret base so you must have a secret base before you even attempt to do this and access to the homebrew launcher a 3ds with firmware greater or equal to 9.0 up to 11.0 so anything between 9.0 to 11.0 will be pretty good and I don't know I think you could still downgrade from 11.0 to 9.2 I believe or anything like that so if you guys want to try it out Go for it and I'll leave the links in the description if you guys want to read the rest so let's get started so we're gonna install the base hacks so I'm gonna download the, the files which I'm not gonna do because I already have them so let me go to my computer let me go to my downloads and I'm gonna open up the starter which is required the homebrew starter kit So here's the homebrew starter kit. We're gonna see the 3DS themes and boot.3dsx. We're gonna drag them to the SD card, and yeah, well, you should see 3DS um, themes and boot.3dsx. I mean, not sure why themes is there. Not sure. I don't think it works, but whatever. And we're gonna open up our 3DS. The one that we dragged in, and we're gonna want to extract the base hacks exploit installer. So we're gonna extract it once we do that. Um, where it's mine at? Where's base hacks? For some reason, I thought I had it. I don't have it, right? So let me do that and not sure why it's not appearing. Oh here it is. So we're gonna see these three files inside the base hacks folder. And we're gonna wanna drag it to our 3ds folder. So once it's there, we're done. Okay, now we're done with this step. It was pretty easy, right? Now remove your SD card from your computer, desk, um, PC, laptop, notebook, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to start up my 3DS. And since I launched Homebrew with Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, that's the one I'm going to use to launch Homebrew. It's kind of glitchy at times. Hopefully it works. Sometimes I can get it to work at the first try, and that takes me about three, four tries to get it working correctly. Perfect, because it usually it usually um crashes on the red screen or yellow screen. Yellow screen it freezes, and uh, in the red screen all oh, crash. So okay, now I'm gonna remove. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon since that's the one I used to homebrew and I'm gonna insert my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire cartridge or Omega Ruby whichever one you want to use and you're gonna see the base X, um, exploit installer alright so I recommend you guys 
create a backup of your game. Power saves are right here, save manager. And I'm not going to do it because I already did it. So I'm going to open this up. And would you see this thing pop up? Initializing. Please wait. Welcome to the quiet BaseX installer. Please proceed with caution as you might lose data if you don't. You may press start at any time to return to the menu. Thanks, Milam and Salt Team, for the installer code base. Press A to continue. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire version 1.4 detected. Press A to continue. All right. Please select your console's firmware version. Only select new 3DS if you own a new 3DS XL. So I do own a new 3DS, but I'm using the old 3DS right now. So here's my firmware. Everything pretty much it usually is gonna detect whatever firmware the 3DS is. So I'll pretty much auto detect it. So I'm gonna press A. You want to make sure everything's good. So USA. All right, perfect. So it's downloading payload. Installing payload. Should take about 20 seconds max. Alright, successfully wrote to file. Now I'm going to press start. And I'm going to reboot my 3DS now. So all you have to do is press start and press A to proceed. All right, so make sure you guys are at your secret base. Not sure if it'll work if you don't have a secret base yet. And the good thing about this, it does not wipe your data like other games. Like, for instance, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. It doesn't even load, take you to the main screen. As you can see right here, I'm actually in the main screen where I can start my game. And also, Ocarina of Time does not let you continue because it pretty much re pretty much reset your whole game back to normal, I guess. Alright, so we're going to open it and we're going to go to Edit Secret Team Settings. And we should see Change Team Name. Alright, let's press A. And we're going to want to launch Hacks Payload. And we're there, guys. And there you go, Homebrew is launched. So that's all you have to do. Alright, I'm going to try it again. Just so you guys can see. And the good thing, it does not delete your data, so you can still play your games and everything. Alright, I'm gonna launch it again just to make sure. Yeah, and once you do this, guys, um and you have multiple 3DS systems, whatever. All you have to do is just make sure you download the, the starter pack. All you gotta do is download the starter pack. Don't download the the base hex um, exploit. And that's it. And just launch homebrew. So that's the good thing. Alright, let's go again. We're gonna go again, edit team. And we're gonna go to change team name. Let's launch it. Crap, why does... Okay. Uh, not sure why they kicked me out, but let's try it again.
Okay, okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go to edit, edit secret team settings. Let's change team name and there you go. Might be buggy, but it works. So that's how you have to do, guys. So there's nothing else. I know take you to homebrew menu and yes, you have homebrew. So. This is probably the best method, the best and easiest method so far, by far, as long as you have homebrew. Alright, let's try one more time, make sure everything works. I want to make sure online features work and doesn't kick me out. I'm going to see if I might be able to connect the line. I'm going to try and see if I can get into a Wi-Fi battle. Make sure they didn't mess around with any settings. I mean, don't want to keep your hope up and things do not work. Alright, so let me open the... Everything works. Everything seems to be working. Are they gonna tell me? Okay, for some reason I thought I had um multiple the same items on um, Umbreon and Sylveon. Just to make sure it wasn't too bad and just not this thing. Connect me or anything like that. Come on. Crap, I hate when it does it. it takes a while to search for and it trainer come on and the bad part is you can't even exit Unless you switch up the Wi Fi. Searching for opposing trainer. Come on. Give me a break. I swear this isn't gonna take forever. Okay. I just wanna make sure everything's working correctly. I mean, come on, how many people do not play Pokemon, you know? Come on, you gotta, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, there you go. Just to make sure everything logs on.
I just want to make sure it gets seen me into metal and everything's working. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it and everything's working properly, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.